In this video, we're going to derive the divisibility rule for 9. Any number, any integer, can be written in the form of a sub n 10 to the n plus a sub n minus 1, 10 to the n minus 1, all the way down to a1 times 10 plus a0. For example, 7,235 is 7 times 10 cubed plus 2 times 10 squared plus 3 times 10 plus 5 times 1. And even if this 3 were a 0, then you have 0 times 10. 7,000 plus 200 plus 5 remember that zero is 7,205. Now, what I want you to note is note one. 10 to the n, which is one f followed by a lot of zeros. If you take away one, you're gonna get a string of nines. That is, if you take a string of nines and you add one, you'll get a power of 10. This is a string of nines plus one. And that's note one. Note two, nine divides a string of nines. 9 into 9, 9, 9, 9, eventually it ends. Well, 9 goes into 9 one time, 9 goes into 9 one time, one time, one time, also one time, 1, 1. It goes in, which implies that 9 divides a string of 9 times m, a multiple of 9999, nine, 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 etc. Okay, so with these two notes, we can show that we can derive the rule for 9 to divide that sum. Okay, so now a n 10 to the n plus a n minus 1, 10 to the n minus 1, all the way down to a1 times 10 plus a0. This is a sub n times. Now 10 to the n is a string of nines plus 1 plus a, n sub, a sub n minus 1 times 10 to a power, which is going to be a string of nines plus 1 all the way down to a1 times 10 which will be a string of, of just one nine plus one. Nine plus one is 10 plus a sub zero. Now, let's distribute, but let's not distribute to the ones yet. You get a string of nines times a sub n plus a string of nines times a n minus 1, all the way down to a string of just 1 9 times a 1. Well, let's add on the rest. Maybe we'll do that in green. So let's add on the rest. So you have a n times 1, which is a n, plus a n minus 1 times n, times 1, excuse me, a n minus 1 times 1 is a n minus 1 all the way down to a 1 times 1 which is a 1 plus a sub 0 okay now we said that 9 goes into any string of 9 so 9 goes into a string of 9's times some integer. So this here is a multiple of nine. This here is 
a multiple of nines, of nine. All of those, multiple of nine, the end, you have a multiple of nine. Well, if you add, if you add multiples of nine, you're gonna get a multiple of nine. I mean, if you have three nines and you add seven nines and you add four nines and then you add 11 nines and then you add two more nines, well, I have three nines plus seven more nines plus four more plus 11 plus two. Four, 10, 27. So I have 27 nines, a multiple of nines. Okay, so now let us, for ease, let's call this K. So now we have that nine divides K if and only if, well, now remember this here is K. And we know that k that nine divides what's in these nine within the red brackets. So the only way nine is going to divide the whole sum is if nine divides that. If and only if nine divides a n plus a n minus one all the way down to a n a one plus a zero which just happened to be the sum of the digits. Nine divides an integer if and only if nine divides the sum of the digits. If nine does not divide the sum of the digits, nine doesn't divide the integer. If nine does divide the sum of the digits of a number, then nine divides that number. If you just love watching mathematical proofs like this, Please subscribe to my channel as this is all I do. Tell your friends and family about my channel. Most of all, watch and learn.